Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Jean. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch today's video. If you are new here and you love handbags as much as I do, I would really appreciate it if you'd consider subscribing and tapping the notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. It would really help my channel out, so I'm begging you, please, please, please. Okay, begging over. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. Today, I am super, super excited to unbox this Guibert bag from you uh, direct from Paris. So this is a new brand to me. I found out about it from Alice in Paris. So she has an amazing channel. Uh, it's, she's Parisian, of course, hence Alice in Paris. Um, but she talks about things from a Parisian angle, lifestyle, fashion, beauty, um, handbags. I mean, she has Chanel bags. She has all the luxury bags we love. And she has this Guy Bear bag. And she's featured it in a, two or three videos. And I will link those below. But she absolutely loves this bag. So I decided to take the plunge and get this. So we're going to unbox this in just a minute. But I just have a few notes here just to talk briefly about the brand. So it was founded in 1999 by Pierre Guibert. He's a horse rider or passionate about horse riding. And so he created the House of Guibert as a saddlery. So originally, I believe originally they only made stuff for horse riders, like saddles and things like that. And they've since expanded to bags and small leather goods that you can only purchase on their official website or in their boutique, which is on uh, Avenue de Victor Hugo, I believe, in Paris. And those familiar, those of you familiar with Paris, it's right by the Arc de Triomphe. It's one of those grand avenues that juts off of um, the Arc. Uh, and so it's a couple avenues over from the Champs Elysees. So right in the heart of France. Um, and then they, they are made, this bag was made in Spain and it was handmade. So talk about luxury, like, sorry, but I'm not buying that these big luxury houses, they are mass produced and there's no way one person is making their bag. And I'm not even convinced that Louis and Gucci and Chanel and all of the, Hermes too. I'm not even convinced that all of those brands that their whole item is made in the country they say it is because EU law stipulates that I believe only two of the manufacturing processes have to occur in said country to put the made in said country label on it. So that could be attaching the shoulder strap or the clasp that keeps the flap of the bag closed. So but this brand, they do only manufacture in France and Spain. The website says that this particular bag is made in Spain from leather that is from France. So it is Terillion leather. I think that's how you say it. They use the same tanneries as Hermes and many of the other luxury brands. So this should be, I have high, 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 expectations for this bag. So uh, let's get into it in one second. They sent me a little nice note here. <laughs> Dear Madame, so clearly they think this that I well, I mean, seeing me, I would hope they would be like, Oh, that's a guy. But clearly they thought a woman ordered this bag, but it says please find and close your bag for which Oh my God, I can't even read this. I, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I can't even read this writing. Please find and close your order for which I, thank you. Okay, I hope that you enjoy it and like the products of our house. Should you have any questions, I would be happy to help. Oh, and her name is Matilda, which is one of my favorite names. And then they also just, sent me 
a sheet with some like care instructions. So, you know, I have a sense of humor. I get that on the phone a lot when I call random places. They will keep referring to me as ma'am. I don't even correct them. I don't even care. I think it's funny, but I do think it's a nice touch that they sent a personalized card here. Um, so very good first start. And, you know, a beautiful box with a beautiful bow that says Guibert Paris, Guibert Paris. Um, yeah, you can see it's a, it's a horse rider there and there's the saddle she's holding. So really, really nice touch. I mean, when you think of luxury, this is what you think about. Handwritten notes and beautiful packaging and the care that was taken when putting your order together. And sorry, before I get this thing out to show you, I ordered this October 8th and it just shipped two days ago. So Either it was backlogged or all of the different colors of this bag said shipping from November 15th, except the red from December 15th back in October when I ordered it. But I did get notice saying it was being manufactured. So this is the Allure bag. So I know I promise I'll show it to you. So it was 385 euros. So that's about 420 US dollars. Um, so very inexpensive when we consider what's behind me, most of it anyway. Um, but they do have a little seal here to keep the tissue paper together, which is nice. That just says Guibert Paris and the logo with the jockey or the horse rider holding the Seattle is on the sticker as well as on this nice tissue paper. So I'm just going to get this open as nicely as I can. All right, so here it is. Now this is a nice dust bag. This is a sturdy, oh, you can see the bag through it. This is a sturdy canvas material. It's beautiful, very well made. Of course, says Guibert Paris there. I'm not the best at unboxings, but I had to do this as an unboxing. So please bear with me if I fumble through uh, this uh, video. I, I hate unboxings, but I wanted you all to see this for the first time with me because I have not seen this. I took it out of the main box and that was it. So I am pulling this bag out. It's smaller than I thought it would be. Um, so wow, the oh, this leather is amazing. It's beautiful. So this clasp here, this is this was created by Robert Goussens, uh, and he was a, he's deceased now, but he was a big jewelry designer, and he created designs for Chanel, Balenciaga, YSL, Dior, and others. It is nickel-plated brass, and it's both the, the G for Guy Bear as well as a horseshoe. I mean, you can see the horseshoe there. So that is a really, really beautiful clasp and it is sturdy and thick and has some weight to it. So it's just a magnetic closure. I will get this sticker off. Where am I gonna put it? Um, so it's just a, a magnetic closure. It is a little smaller than I thought it would be. You know, you see it on models and of course, Alice in Paris is more petite than I am. Um, and I expected it to be a little bit bigger, but this size will be just fine. So it is 6.8 inches or 17 and a half centimeters in height. The width is 2.7 centimeters, or excuse me, 2.7 inches or seven centimeters. And the length is 9.45 inches or 24 centimeters. It also has a slip pocket here on the back, which I can always appreciate. On the inside is the shoulder strap, which I will show you. And they do have it stuffed. So let me just get this put together really quickly so I can show you what this strap uh, looks like. I'm still like giggling over uh, that card they sent. I mean, you know, you should never assume I did that the other day. I was taking out the garbage and this cutest little kid was like by the car with his mom and was like, hi, hi, hi. And I walked, as I was walking by, I walked by the mom and I said, she's so cute. And she goes, 
it's a he. And I felt terrible, you know, just because a little kid, you can't tell they have long hair. But I'm like, okay, from now on, just say, what a cute kid or what a cute child. But anyway, so there's the shoulder strap. I'm about six foot tall, so it hits where my wrist, I, I wish I could back up more here to show you. Uh, sorry, see, I'm so clunky. Now I'm standing on my tippy toes, so that doesn't do good. But you can see here, the bottom of the bag hits about right here, which is perfect. That's easy to help uh, you get in and out. And I'm sure this clasp is gonna, easily more easily attach when it's full of stuff rather than empty inside it has one slip pocket on the back with a leather tab there that says uh Guibert Paris on it and it's a kind of I guess canvas type material uh the stitching on this it is hand stitched handmade uh so we know that and this is just absolutely beautiful. I am highly impressed. I will have to give this a use uh, and come back and do a review after I've used it uh, several times. Um, there you can see the bottom, the sides, the other side. Um, yeah, it is just really beautiful. Um, I'm really impressed. Um, the stitching looks great. I do love this clasp. I just think it's so beautiful. And it's just not as loud as these. And I'm kind of like, honestly, I'm kind of a little bit over it because there is just nothing at Louis Vuitton or Gucci at all that is piquing my interest lately. And I just feel like these brands are constantly just rehashing old designs. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of right now headed more into the more affordable more contemporary side of luxury and i will certainly have more batons you'll see my wish list soon there's tons of like high-end brands on there so i'm not done with those but i'm certainly like exploring the less expensive and still well-made side of luxury with the brands that not everybody has like no one will have this bag probably in california Maybe I, I'm sure somebody in the U.S. has it, but I, I might be the only one in the state. You just don't know. I mean, it's just not a well-known brand. It's a little niche brand, I guess you would call it. Um, on the sides there, the leather is wrinkly. I'm not sure if that is supposed to be normal or not. Somebody down there who know, might know more about leather can tell me, but it is pebbled and it is smooth leather. Um, I'm sorry, it's pebbled, but it feels smooth. It's not deeply pebbled. Um, so I absolutely love this bag so far, but you know, we will see how this works out as I am using it. Um, I will add the shoulder strap is not removable, which is always a bummer to me, but it's certainly not a deal breaker. So I'm gonna pack this thing up and I'm gonna take it out for a spin. So let me know your thoughts below. I do think it is just a beautiful bag. And Alice, if you're watching it, tell me if these sides here wrinkled are normal. Thank you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.